Once upon a time, a god ruled over all the animals in the forest. One summer day, while the god was sleeping, a loud noise woke him up. The god looked down into the forest to see what was going on. He saw a leopard playing a drum. He said to himself, "The sound of the drum is so loud that must annoy every creature. I need to find a way to stop the leopard." Then the god came up with an idea. The god went to visit the leopard in the forest. "May I play your drum?" the god asked. The leopard shook his head and said, "No, no one can touch my drum." The god asked the leopard several times, but the leopard's answer was always the same. The god decided to wait until the leopard went hunting. Then the god would get the drum. But the leopard did not go hunting that day. The god went to ask the other animals if they could help him to get the drum. The python agreed to help the god. He went to talk to the leopard and said, "Leopard, your drum is beautiful. Can I borrow it to play at my family reunion?" The leopard refused. "Didn't it happen last week?" he asked, chasing the python off with a loud roar. Next, the elephant offered to help. He was confident that the leopard would listen to him. The elephant went to the leopard's home. He asked the leopard if he could borrow the drum for a party. The leopard did not believe the elephant. He said, "I will bring the drum to your party tomorrow, but not now." Then he growled and chased the elephant away. This time, a tortoise offered to try and get the drum for the god. All the other animals laughed at the tortoise, but the tortoise did not care and went to find the leopard. When the tortoise found the leopard, she said, "I think your drum is too small to join our music festival tomorrow night." The leopard replied with confidence, "No way! My drum is the biggest one in the forest." The tortoise smiled and said, "It is because you have not seen the god's drum. It is much bigger than yours. Even a leopard can sit in it." Angrily, the leopard decided to prove that his drum was bigger than the god's. He went to sit inside his own drum. The tortoise had already prepared a big lid in advance. She trapped the leopard inside his drum. Then the tortoise rolled the drum to the god. The god and all the animals were overjoyed when they saw the tortoise come back with the drum. The tortoise took the lid off the drum, and the leopard jumped out. He was very dizzy. The leopard felt that the drum was more trouble than it was worth. He decided to go away. After the leopard was gone, the god saw that the tortoise had been hurt while rolling the drum to him. The god felt very sorry for the tortoise. To thank the tortoise, the god gave her a hard shell. The shell would protect the tortoise and would give her a safe place to live. The god took the drum home. He decided to use the drum for warning animals when a storm was on the way. Then the animals would have time to find shelter before the rain and wind arrived.